and Contenathon. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass has been offered for us and our families, and in particular, Beth Brush. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and asking God for mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. From the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God, following his ways, and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees, as they are written in the law of Moses, that you may succeed in whatever you do. Wherever you turn, the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on my behalf, he said, if your sons so conduct themselves that they remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your own on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was forty years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and thirty-three years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David, with his sovereignty firmly established. The word of the law. Thanks be to God. The sponsor of the song. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power. Majesty, splendor, and glory. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O God, is the sovereignty you have exalted as head over all. Riches and honors are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick. 
and pure ground. The Gospel of the Lord. So as an eagle scout is drilled into my mind, be prepared, be prepared. That's what I heard throughout all of scouting. And it's my natural personality anyway, to be prepared and sometimes to be over-prepared. So uh, when I got re reignited with my faith in my 30s, I had to unlearn some of that uh, automatic behavior and start trusting God and not having to have every uh, I dotted and every T crossed like most of us are trained to do, but just to go in and say, okay, I'm not really sure what I'm going to encounter as I knock on the door of this hospital room when I was a chaplain. I'm not really sure what's going to happen when I go to this meeting with these school parents. I'm not really sure what's going to happen when this, this, that, or the other. And I'm um, just going to trust God. And it's turned out to be a wonderful way to live. It's very free. It doesn't mean I do no preparation, but my primary preparation is prayer and studying scripture. And in the course of doing that, God puts some really great ideas in my mind and clarifies my thinking so that when I have a meeting or a conversation or something, I'm surprisingly prepared, though I didn't really set out to prepare. It's just that God gives it as a gift of the Holy Spirit. I had to laugh this morning. I, uh, one of the books that I enjoy reading reflections is called Living Faith. And this is a woman who uh, is a retreat director. Her name is Jennifer Chris. And she says, in the fall, I lead a three-day women's retreat. And I also do that in the spring. And I love to see the women coming to the retreat. Some come with a full-size electric fan. Uh, some with two pillows, a full-size suitcase, and two smaller bags for three days. They worry they may have forgotten something. When traveling, we all subconsciously bring too much stuff, including our entitlements, prejudices, and fussiness. Jesus asks us to leave all this behind, to lighten up, and to move forward with the walking stick of faith. It's going to be a great journey. He'll be walking right beside us. Lord, I'm ready. Let's go. That's what he asked of the apostles. They were, of course, terrified to think they were going to go out and preach and teach and drive out demons and anoint people with oil and see them cured. They were pretty terrified of all of that. But they went out. That's exactly what happened. They were able to engage and trust in God and had great ministry, great experience. So that's the challenge for us uh, in the chapter, the difficulties of life, the, the, the traffic jams of life, is to bear down in our prayer and say, God, grant me the grace of clarity, understanding, and trust. Let us bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. The church leaders in their ministry of preaching the Word of God. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O lawmakers, may God's grace direct their hearts in composing laws that protect the life and rights of all people, including those yet to be born. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All of them with inadequate food, shelter, or community support. May God be gracious to them and provide for their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations, the priesthood, religious life, and permanent the active nine sciences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause and add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in Ukraine and Israel, for an end to war, violence, and racism, for a culture that respects life and the values of God, 
and for God's special blessing on our grandparents as we celebrate grandparents today at our school. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, please hear the prayers we offer, which we make in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, but for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a better life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. To say his command and for by my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign for the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let your face shine on your servant. Shave me in your merciful love. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As I mentioned, we have Grandparents' Day today, beginning at 9 o'clock in church with a prayer service. The church will be completely full. So if our parishioners uh, who are here are able to move your cars off site, that would be wonderful. Uh, we also have the food bank open today, beginning at 9 a.m. in St. Joseph Hall. And tonight, the Women's Bible Study Group, Walking with Purpose, meets in the Paris Center at 7 p.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. Thank you. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, if you give me humbly pray, and do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking souls. Amen.